Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to write AUK commands and scripts in Linux. So are you ready? Let's get started. So actually the AUK command is very very powerful command and some consider it as a programming language. So in this video I will just show you some basics on how to use this command okay so let's get started so you, first of all you should know the basic format of the out command so the basic format is pretty simple so you type out then inside the codes you put a button then inside curly brackets you can type an action okay so this is the basic format for the AUK command so in order to get in touch with it of course we have to provide a file which is our input okay and we can pipe that to our output file if we want but in this video I will just show you some techniques that you can use in order to manipulate files so as I told you AUK is mostly used when you are dealing with files and scripts and especially when those files are organized into lines and columns so in order to demonstrate that I will show you just a sample file here called AUK also so it contains just five lines so as you can see this files is pretty simple but it will help us to understand our commands okay so from this file you can see it's organized into lines but also into columns so you can consider it as if it's separated by spaces so each line actually here contains space so actually for the first line you can consider it as a bunch of chunks separated with spaces okay so here for example the first column contains just numbers and the second column you can see it contains first names the third columns contains family names and also the fourth column contains just the word title and so on so we're gonna manipulate this text file here with our oak command but before that you should also know that oak assigns variable by default so the variable name $0 is actually the whole line so you can consider it as the whole line okay and variable dollar one let me write that dollar one is the first field dollar two is the second field and so on okay so let's for example print just the first field of this oak text file so we can use our oak command so i will type oak and inside quotes I'm gonna just print what let's say for example our first field so I will tap the variable dollar one okay and here we should put that inside curly brackets okay so we close that with our closing code and here we go now we have our oak command but we need an input file so our input file is simply the oak.txt file so here I'm not going to put that into another file I will just show the result in the current display okay so normally I will just get the first field here we go we now have the 
first only the first field. So, for example, if you want to get the third field, which is our family names, all we have to do is just to change the dollar one with dollar three, which stands for actually third field which contains family names. Okay. And here we go, we have our result. So this is the basic usage of the oak command. But here you notice that by default the separator here in our file is space. But what are we going to do if we have, for example, another separator? For example, let me show you the file very famous one in Linux, etc. password file. So as you can see, this file is also organized into lines, but also columns. But this time the columns are separated by column. So as you can see here, so for example, if we take the first line here, you have the root, then our column then x which stands actually for the password which is encrypted here then another column zero another column zero another column root and also another column slash root and etc so here we don't have spaces anymore but instead of spaces we have columns so how can we deal with this kind of file so it's pretty easy. So if you want, for example, to display just the first field, so I will take you to the out command that I have executed here. So of course, here we have to provide our file here, which is etc. password file. Okay. But here, if we execute this command, we don't have any spaces in our file, but we have columns. So we have to provide an option where we can specify our separator. So this option here is dash capital F. Then we have to provide separator, which is column here. Here we go. So this is our whole command. So we have specified with the option minus capital F our separator which is column so if we execute this command we get only the first column in our file so keep in mind whenever you have a different separator you have to provide it here just next to the capital F for example if we have CSV file which is a comma separated file or semicolon separated file we can provide here a comma or semicolon as you wish so it depends on the file that you are working with okay so let's move on so I will clear that another thing you can run multiple commands but you should or you must separate it them by semicolon so I will show you how for example let's echo or print just hello world statement so I will just print here uh, hello world hello or hello Amina it's better okay so I will pipe that to the oak command so I will type oak okay so I will use here the format of the oak so always between quotes but this time I will change the second field which is just the word amina here so I need the dollar two so I will assign to this second field which is Amina another word so for example John
So I'll type John. Here we go. And of course, of course, here as I told you, we run multiple commands, that, so we must separate it by, uh, them by semicolon. So I will type my semicolon here, and I will print simply the whole line. But remember, the variable whole name is the dollar zero. So dollar zero. And now I'm done with my commands. But here I forget just one thing. I forget actually to add curly brackets here. So the curly brackets and here my quotes. So it's not here. It's at the end. So here we have two commands. An assignment. So I assign the word John to the variable or to the second field, which is in this case Amina. And here I will print the whole line. So the whole line is the variable $0. So let's execute that and see the result. Normally I will get hello John. So here I will get just hello. So what happens here? We have a mistake. So we have to find out which is the mistake okay so I guess the mistake it's pretty easy to detect here so here we have quotes and we have quotes so whenever you have quotes inside quotes it's better to change the inside in quotes with double quotes so I guess we'll see I have to change this John here between double quotes okay so I will change here the quotes, simple quotes, square double quotes. Here we go. And now let's see if we get the result. Et voila, as you can see now, we've got our result. So pay attention to single quotes and double quotes. So if you have a mixed with them, you have actually to change them according to your syntax okay so let's clear that and let's turn to our initial files so i'll display it just to see so for example let's say that we want to get all the lines that contain a occurrence of a special string so for example if you see here we have the word smith in the first line and also in the last line so let's make here a command using the oak in order to get all the lines that contain specific string so here in my case i will use as an example the word smith so in order to do that we use what we call regular expressions so i will type the, our oak command Okay, then always my single quotes and between slashes I will put the string that I'm looking for, so which is Smith and my closing slash. Okay, et voila, that's all. Now I have to provide the file I'm working with. So normally here I will get just two lines. Here we go. We have the first line and the fifth line that contains the word Smith. So remember that we have used what we call here regular expression. We can get the same result. For example, let's say that we go we want to get all the lines that start with the numbers. So I will use the same thing but here just instead of the string here because we are dealing with numbers i will use what we call a caret so this is this symbol here and here i will not use i will just use brackets 
in order to specify the numbers. So let's say we want just to get the line that starts. So here the caret means that the line starts. So the line that starts with certain numbers, for example, from 0 to 3. So I will just get 1, 2, 3 lines here. Okay. Here we go. So you can see I just get the lines that start with numbers 1, 2, 3. I can do it. And finally, we can also use comparison in our OK command. So let me display the file here. OK. So let's say that we want to compare a field to a value. So for example, I will type the oak, always my quotes. And here, let's see this column here, number. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the eighth columns contain just the price. So let's compare this column here dollar eight if it is equal to seven hundred or nine hundred then I want to print for example something else I want to print but here you have to use your curly brackets I want to print because it's an action I want to print the first name which is column 2 so I will use dollar 2 so here our comparing the eighth columns to a value here which is 900 and if this condition here is true I will print the second column which is the first name so let's see if we get the result but before that we have to provide the file of course we get nothing we get nothing that's very obvious because we forgot here the dollar sign for the dollars so i'll just add here 900 dollars because it's comparing the whole field not just some part of it okay and voila, as you can see now, I get silver, which is the corresponding line that contains the $900 in the eighth field. So this is how you can use the out command for basic thing. So that was just a brief or basic command that you can use in order to get your script working or to manipulate the text files or data files we will go in more details using this very very powerful command in our next videos as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye